Okay, so our class now contains three states, a red, green and blue state. The problem that we have is that although the red state, for example, sets the colour of the light to red, it never does anything to change the state of the light to green. And the green state never does anything to change the state of the light to blue. The result of this, at the moment at least, is that our light will begin in red and stay red because nothing ever happens to cause it to change its colour. Let us, uh, let us fix this by starting with the red state. What we want to happen is for the red state to change the colour of the light to red. Then we want to wait for, say, two seconds. And then after two seconds, we want to change the state of the light to green. So to do this, let us press enter after the set color line and insert the statement sleep two. This will cause the Unreal Engine to wait for two seconds before proceeding with the next line. In the next line, we're going to change the state uh, from red to green and we can change states using the go to state command. So I'm going to type in go to state here and I'm going to name the state green. So let's just take a look at what is happening here. When the red state is entered the color of the light is set to red. The class then waits for two seconds and after two seconds, it changes the state to green. Let us now proceed to implement the green state. When the green state is entered, the light color is set to green. We want to wait for another two seconds, and then we want to change the state to blue. Let us proceed with blue. On entering the blue state, the light color is set to blue, we want to wait for two seconds and then change the state back to red. And in this way, the light will continually loop, changing its color from red to green and from green to blue. What we have achieved here is a completed light class that will animate. All that remains for us to do here is to compile the light and then to try it out in the UDK editor. So I'm going to compile my code here by clicking build and rebuild solution or I could press Control alt f7 on the keyboard and after having compiled my code I'm going to see you back in the UDK editor to test out our light. Okay so I have now coded my animated light in Unreal Script and that class has been compiled and I have now returned to the UDK editor to try out my light in this sample level that I have created here which consists primarily of a ground plane here. Now in order to access my light and to drop it into the scene I'm going to press Control shift f on the keyboard and select the actor classes panel here. In the actor classes here I can see my animated light listed under test and lighting. I'm going to drag and drop my light into the scene and straight away you can see that the perspective viewport changes to lit mode now that the UDK has detected that I have added a light to the scene. I'm going to raise the light up in the viewport uh, to make the scene look a bit better here and press F4 on the keyboard making sure the light is selected to show the light properties. I'm going to adjust the inner and outer cone a little. I'm going to make the outer cone let's say 60 and I'm going to make the inner cone let's say 45. Um, here for the brightness of the light I'm going to change this value to let's say I don't know 4 make it look a bit better here. Now before I give this level a test run 
Um, I'm just going to need to build my lighting using the light mass system but once I've done that uh, I will be good to go and ready to click the play button or plain viewport or plain editor and I should be able to see the color of my light animating. So let's go and take a look and see how that appears. And just as expected the light is animating from red to green and then to blue just as uh, we expected it would. Notice also that it loops around on a cycle so that blue changes back to red um, according to the three different states of a light. So this tutorial has shown you how to create an animated light using Unreal Script. Of course uh, you could uh, add many other features to lights and you could use the states feature of Unreal Script to code many different things besides lights. So I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.